What is up, players? Warbots tail for this mug. Welcome to take two of my video series on Dawn of War 2, the video game. So let's start a new game, shall we? I think I chose Captain the last time. Subsector Aurelia. This cluster of worlds stands on the very edge of the Imperium of Man. Oh, exterminatus. From this frontier came the Blood Ravens, a chapter of the Emperor's own space marines. Full of space marines lead the raw recruits defending these worlds. Now, another space marine joins this desperate battle. A newly promoted commander, ready to lead in our darkest hour. You are this space marine. And you will tip the balance toward victory. All right, you guys, welcome to Dawn of War 2. It is the follow-up to the successful Dawn of War real-time strategy game, and uh, it focuses on the story of a Space Marine chapter, original Space Marine chapter, called the Blood Ravens, that were created specifically for this game by the uh, studio. And I think it's interesting that Games Workshop said, you know, we're, we don't want the main characters of your game to be a popular and already established well-known Space Marine chapter, so why don't you go ahead and create something new. At least that's how I think it went in my mind. I'm not sure exactly how it went down, but the fact that they... Duke. The fact that they decided not to go with the Games Workshop staple of Ultramarines or... Uh, like, what else would, would you consider? Like, Imperial Fists is another popular color scheme that Games Workshop tries to tries to promote through its model line, uh, kind of says something. What I love about this game, any game, I'm such a, man, I don't know why, but I'm such a GW fanboy. I love seeing any kind of representation of the miniatures in action. So seeing the models kind of come to life, being animated like this, um, when the, the Space Marine video game came out, all of that was really, really cool to me. So let's play through the campaign. I'm not going to do any multiplayer shenanigans. Uh, this is the first time, really, that I'm experimenting in streaming. Or I guess it's not really streaming because it's not live, but I'm recording these video games and I'm posting them up to YouTube. And I just kind of want to gauge from the community's reaction how it goes. I tried this last night. I tried it out. Uh, there are some technical hiccups. The uh, sound levels weren't balanced. So hopefully the sound is a little bit better today. And uh, let's get started. Calderas. We Blood Ravens select our initiates from this world's fierce warriors. Drop pod, awesome. Calderas is the cradle and the future of our chapter. Now, the orcs would take it from us. Yeah, I love the this background art. We cannot allow. The, um, the settings, the environments, the art for the levels. Not even the character animations, but just the the background art looks really good, I think. Very 40k. Stay in cover. Kill the orcs that are out in the open. Welcome, Commander. This is Captain Davian Thule, in command here on Calderas. We are battling the orcs that threaten this world. You have dropped right into the combat zone. Oh. I am north of you with several squads of our initiates. We are under heavy fire and losing control of our flanks. Move north and provide support. Okay, so I'm playing with a keyboard and mouse on my PC, my brand new PC, and we are gonna get started. So as you can see, you've got um, your units here. They've got very helpful insignias over their heads to show what they are. You've got your commander and your tactical squad. 
I'm moving forward with the right mouse button and uh, you can see these little green dots that appear or yellow dots that indicates cover that means that your units get a little bit of protection Oi, cover the Yubis, cut behind us. Kill them! the interesting thing about this game that I thought was that the cover a lot of it is destructible um, but there is advantages to be gained if you're in cover you've got your unit profiles down here um, hot keys on how to activate their abilities. So let's help our guy out here and drop a frag grenade. Um, unlike the, <laughs> the tabletop game, frag grenades are pretty pretty effective. Uh, not just used as a bonus when you're when you're attacking. But yeah, a lot of orcs ahead of you are trying to outflank us. Eliminate them. A lot of the things on the board game transfer over into the video game a little bit differently, but uh, I think it's, it was really interesting of them to to try to reimagine some of the mechanics of the board game. You know, while I just get to so you're only going to get a certain amount of units in this game. Uh, you can't ever serve rush an enemy. So it's uh, really useful to kind of plan your, your units when you're going to select them at the beginning of later missions to figure out you know, what's going to get the job done the best. And then what figure out what kind of units you like to play. Like you can mix up some uh, mix them up with your tactical squad, your heavy weapon squad, you're gonna get an assault squad later. Uh, this is the first time I'm gonna be actually like playing through most of it, but I've seen some great videos online of uh, other people playing the game, and I've read a lot about it on tactics pages and stuff, so I'm, I'm excited to get as far into it as I can. Utilizing the cover, like I said, use cover. It's running around. These look like bad moon orcs. I think I mentioned that the first time I tried filming this last night, and I think that's really cool that they're kind of sticking to the Games Workshop color scheme, at least for the orcs. Well, there we go. Commander. But the green skins will not give us much time before they attack again. I need you and Sergeant Tarkas to take charge of driving the orcs back. Tarkas is the sergeant Move up of to the ruins east the of tactical here. squad. Prepare to repel the next orc wave. So this is this is the tutorial level. So you learn all of the basics and everything. <laughs> Look at that orc truck. Orc vehicle. Oh, so Stay cool. In cover. That truck has a heavy gun. Oh shoot! In less dying, you kids. So you can see up here if a unit is in cover or not because you can see little green and yellow lights. Those indicate that it's either behind soft cover or hard cover. More orcs. Well done, Commander. Those orcs have opened a path through the hill somehow. Move forward and seal it. Alright, so that's how we get more Please frag grenades. About that truck, Tarka's here. Grenade that target. artwork is and how it's it's really interesting how they took the games workshop art and created these these settings and environments the 
Greenskins are clearly using that mine as a passage, Commander. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seal that entrance by any means necessary. So you can see a little ammo dump. We're gonna throw a grenade on it. Boom! Good work, Space Marines. The Greenskins nice are not using that passage again anytime soon. But the leader managed to escape through the tunnel before we could kill him. That was our chance to cut this invasion off at the head. He will show himself again, Tarkas. And when he does, we will be ready. Thunderhawks are en route. Prepare for extraction. Let our enemies beware, for victory is ours. Alright, so there's the first opening tutorial level taken care of. And you get an improved chainsword. So it's kind of like an a uh, role-playing game, an RPG as well, because you get to level up your characters. And um, what I thought was interesting slash frustrating, there's no way that you can be the best at everything with your characters. When you're leveling them up, you kind of have to pick a certain route that you want them to follow in order to be the most effective for you. So um, there's four different categories that you can pump points into your characters. Look at this, Battlefleet Gothica. So awesome. And those categories are health, melee damage, melee, uh, range damage, and energy. Energy is kind of like the, uh, a regenerating pool of points that allows you to use your abilities. So abilities that don't require um, supplies, like charging, um, Rallying, boosting your combat speed, uh, different tactical stances and formations. Did my game freeze? Welcome no, there we go. Welcome aboard Strike Cruiser Armageddon, Commander. Calderas is currently facing a massive orc invasion that threatens to spill over to the entire sector. Urgent distress signals are coming from other nearby sectors, but we must concentrate our efforts here. I need you to take charge of an assault that stalled on the surface below. Drop to the point marked on the planet map and start pushing into the orc's flank. Okay, so like I was saying, you um, have these in-between mission kind of uh, hubs where you're up here on your, your battleship and you can do a couple different things. The first thing you can look at is the log of what's going on. Uh, interesting little fluff bits and tips. You can also go to this screen where you can upgrade your characters. So like I was saying, you've got four pools or four different sections and you can pump your points into um, anyone you choose. Now you can either min-max, which I think is the more effective, or you can kind of go and do it evenly. Unfortunately, the enemies and the situations and the scenarios get a little bit harder the further you go. And so I found that the best way to go through this is to kind of choose the things that you want to be strongest at. So for example, I want my commander here to be really good at close combat. So I'm going to try to give him gear and equipment that favors that. And I'm going to pump my first two points into his melee damage. And you can see each of these little indications or markers indicate a new skill that you get when you put enough points into it. Like I said, you're never going to get enough points to fill out the entire, all four trees. You have to pick and choose. And I think that's interesting tactically. Unfortunately, there's no way to reset your points, I don't think. There could be. I could be wrong. But that means that you have to really pick and choose and decide from an early, early level how you want to... Um, build your characters. I think the the max level cap is 20 level 20 So battle cry is Perform special attacks with every blow dealing damage knocking enemies to the ground Yeah, so that's that's a good first one to get because if your commander is going in by himself Then having this ability will allow him to use his special attacks and um, take on more enemies than he would normally and So far you've only got two squads to think about I'm going to give him a better bolter there. With your missions, you're also going to get equipment that you can put into these slots, but right now they're empty.
kind of want these guys to specialize in ranged, so I'm going to pump it into there for now. And you can see on the map the amount of missions you have. Right now we're, we're kind of stuck on this one planet. But eventually you'll the be able to go to different have planets. Taken over a hamlet outside Argus. This hamlet sits on a vital supply route, and all of Calderas could fall if we do not dislodge them. Sergeant Avatus and his squad of Devastator Space Marines held the hamlet alone, but they were finally overwhelmed. You must retake the hamlet and drive the orcs back. To aid in this, I'm assigning Sergeant Cyrus and his squad of scouts to your command. Okay. His infiltration expertise should prove invaluable. All right, you guys, we're going to stop it there and um, jump into this mission in the next video uh, episode. Let me know if you like this video, if there were things that you think I can improve on. Duke, shh. And uh, I won't... Let's see, what... I'll, I'll check out the sound levels to see if that's any better, but uh, I, I kind of had fun playing this game. It's a good way to distract myself when I'm sitting at the painting table and my eyes start to cross because I'm painting too much and it's consistent with the lore and the fiction and the universe and uh, it really helps motivate me and get my creative juices going especially because I'm painting bad moon orcs right now they um, fighting them is, is is fun it's good to see them running around and shouting in their pseudo uh, Cockney accents Roy uh, thanks for watching everybody hope you enjoyed this video leave a comment below let me know what you think and we'll see you in the next one